Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day or night whenever you're watching this reading. We are here for a pop-up and today's pop-up is going to be all about the past, the present, and the future of your connection to the person on your mind. So, um, it looks like kind of a hot mess right now. What I'm going to do is kind of separate the sections. We're going to go in the order of the timeline for this connection. We're going to first talk about the nature of it and what was going on in the past. Then we will hop into what's currently going on in the present. And we will chat a little bit about the future as well. So, I'm going to separate these into piles and sections. Let's kind of lay these out a little bit for you to get started about the past. Okay, so let's let's kind of do it this way. I may even feel called to pull some additional cards, which is kind of why I feel called to lay it out like this for you guys today. Um, but I'm super excited to do this reading. I had a calling to do it this way. I don't always do past, present, and future readings, but every once in a while I have a calling, so I'm super excited for it. Let's hop into it. This is representative of the past of this connection. I feel called to note that my intention behind this section was when you first met this person or when you first like started deepening your bond with each other, if you've known them for a really long time, but you've gone through like a couple of different types of phases, this is intended to be like when like the romantic energy started between the two of you, like either when you first met them or when you first started going on dates or interacting in that way. So getting that out of the way. We have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. We have true love, a deep and enduring connection going beyond superficial attraction and the prayer. So the most prominent message coming out from what was going on in this connection in the past is that it seems like you and or your person were consulting your divine team as well as maybe your friends and family about this person and getting their input and advice in the very beginning stages. So um, it could be almost like it's giving me the storyline that you and this person met or you deepened your connection and it felt almost a little bit too good to be true. So both of you got a little bit carried away and started getting advice and guidance from your friends and your family, uh, maybe even praying about it, meditating about it. It just really seems like you were seeking support. Um, you wanted to know maybe if you were getting carried away too fast or if things were escalating quicker than they should be. Um, it could even be that maybe there were some roadblocks or there were some... Um, just some things you wanted clarity for that you hadn't experienced. So what this is telling me is that this connection felt different than any other that you and or your person have ever felt before. And it might have been a little bit confusing in the beginning stages. So you were asking for support because it felt brand new to you. Um, and I, I don't know, I just find that to be very interesting. So there was something very intense right from the start that led you and your person to want to get some type of advice or counseling. Um, it's interesting because these were the first two cards that came out. Actually, I pulled this deck third. So the fact that both of the first two cards coming out were talking about like advice says that that's the most dominant energy. And now I feel like I'm getting carried away and stumbling on my words, you guys. So I am going to pull a few tarot cards, but I do want to elaborate a little bit more on the point I'm trying to make. It wasn't just asking for guidance in the 3D. It was also praying and meditating about it. Um, listening to your intuition, going within and trying to like figure it out, basically. Like this was some kind of a puzzle for you and your person. Um, which is telling me that right from the get-go, this connection felt different than any other you and or your person have ever experienced before. I feel like this was coming from both ends, if I'm being honest. Like, it felt different to you. It felt different to them. It was something unfamiliar. Almost like you were charting some kind of unfamiliar territory and you wanted to get any type of advice, guidance, and support you could about it before deciding to deepen it because it felt just different. And in a really good way because we have true love, a deep and enduring connection going beyond superficial attraction. So it's, it, to me, it's telling me that, yeah, you were probably attracted to each other right from the get-go, but it felt different. It wasn't just a superficial or physical attraction. You felt like a magnetic pull to each other. You felt 
something that you couldn't quite put your finger on that you needed help identifying, which is probably why you were praying about it and or talking to friends and family to try to, you know, get their input. Like, have you ever felt this way before? Why am I so attracted to this person? I've never experienced such a thing. Like, it, it just felt different right from the get-go, basically, okay? Now, we're going to get a couple of tarot cards to elaborate a little bit more. Talk to me about the past of this connection, please. Talk to me about the past of this connection. Okay. That is interesting. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles coming out together like that. Yeah, right from the get-go, like right from the very beginning of this connection, both of you felt like this unspoken devotion towards each other, like you knew that this was going to be some sort of a long-lasting relationship or connection in your life, even if you couldn't quite put your finger on it, even if you hadn't like gone on a ton of dates or something like that, you just kind of felt this unspoken devotion to one another that felt very familiar, like it was meant to be long lasting and take its time to get there. Like right from the get go, this felt like something that was more of like, almost like a learning experience for both of you. Like you wanted to figure it out, like it was already helping you to better yourselves. Um, it was just very, there was like an energy of it being brand new, like you and this person had never experienced it before, but there was like this unspoken devotion exchanged between the two of you. Yeah, we have the world coming out, almost like you had completed some type of other cycles in your life. It was like meeting this person caused both of you to complete other cycles like with other types of relationships. Maybe this connection felt very harmonious right from the beginning and your previous relationships were turbulent or toxic or maybe you were really used to like the dynamic of a karmic partner where it's hot and cold and very superficial. And like right from the beginning, you knew there was something different about this connection. It caused you to see things differently, past connections as well. Um, so that's pretty intense right away. I will say this much that this does seem like it's a higher level soul connection just because of the difference here. And both of you were aware of that, whether you could quite, it seems like you couldn't quite put your finger on it, but both of you had this unspoken awareness that there was just something very different about this connection in a good way. And it even helped you to reflect on other connections and almost use those as confirmation for just how different this was. So that is interesting. We're going to hop into the present now because I kind of want to see what's currently going on between you and this person. This is going to be a doozy of a reading, you guys. So hold on one second here. Okay. Representing the present state of this connection, what's currently going on here, we have true love. This is a this is the romance of a lifetime. We also have relax. I also hold on a second, you guys, because I want to point this out. True love and true love came out in um, the past of it, too. But anyway, relax. Find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together in agape, which is literally unconditional love and devotion. <laughs> okay, this could definitely be like a soulmate connection for some of you guys out there. It certainly feels that way to me. And just given what we chatted about about the past when the two of you first met or started deepening your connection, it feels very reminiscent of a higher level soul connection, um, pretty much like a soulmate because twin flames, it's not always that way, especially it's indicating that to me, given that this is the current state of it. Um, but anyway, I don't know why I'm going on that tangent. This could definitely be a soulmate for you. But anyway, we also have agape. I already, <laughs> I already noted that. You guys, it's the morning. Bear with me. Please don't be scared away from my channel if you're new here. Maybe just check out a different reading because I'm a little bit out of character right now. But anyway, um, the present state of the connection. Okay. Um, very clear that you and this person have a very harmonious love towards one another. It's very much unconditional. The devotion remains. Nothing has changed since the beginning of this. Both of you just feel this unspoken and probably spoken 
deep love for one another, something that feels true, something that feels very real and raw. I feel like you and this person feel at ease in each other's presence. There's just something very calm and comforting about spending time with one another. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. You could be like literally relaxing on the couch, watching TV together or taking walks together, going out on dates. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. You and this person just have this deep, harmonious connection to one another. And, um, you both just kind of get it. And there is this unspoken devotion, this deep soul level devotion towards this love, towards this connection that both of you feel. And I feel like it's very much mirrored between the two of you. You both are feeling the same things towards one another. And what that energy is, is quite beautiful. I'm going to get a couple of tarot cards as well for this spread to see what else we can get out here. Talk to me about the current state, the present state of this connection and any information you can give me about it in its current state. There's so much more left to be discovered. That's one thing that's coming out. We have the moon. Let's get one more. Talk to me about the current state of this connection. The star. couple more please talk to me about the current state of this connection okay talk to me about the current state of this connection it's interesting I wonder if it's going to mirror the pattern from the last spread I did we'll see clarify the five of swords or give me additional information about the current state please I think you and or this person have been cheated on in the past or something like that. Okay, and there's something that feels different about this connection, but both of you are carrying a little bit of wounds from whatever that situation was from a past partner, but you're hopeful that this is going to be a fresh start. That's what I'm seeing for the, like, the current state of this connection. Aside from the fact that it seems like both of you are truly devoted towards one another, like your heart belongs to them, their heart belongs to you, um, there are still some wounds, there are still some pain points from previous connections that both of you are carrying into the present state that's currently being healed so that you are able to view this connection differently, that you actually are experiencing a fresh start in love, a new type of romance and romantic connection that neither one of you have really been able to experience before. Um, Again, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, okay? It seems like part of the reason you and this person were consulting friends or family or praying about it right from the beginning is because you've had sabotaged connections in the past, either through cheating or wounds that got out of hand or something like that. Um, you hadn't experienced an actually loving connection before, or your person hasn't, probably both of you. And so that's why you were consulting friends and family right from the beginning, because there's just something about this connection that felt different. You're still healing from it in the present state. You're not completely healed just yet, but there is hope on the horizon that this is going to be something that just is new. There's a newness to it. You and this person are both aware of that, that this connection is different. It feels right. And it's almost like both of you were given a gift of a fresh start when it comes to romance after some pretty heavy and turbulent relationships or connections. You're still healing, though. It's important to note that um, healing is going to take time. Healing isn't linear. You know, it's, it's a process. And you guys are doing great from what I can see here. In the present state, it just really seems like um, things are going pretty smoothly. You might still be hitting some roadblocks with each other, though, here and there. Um, but I do feel as though that's something that you're going to get over just based on the other energies that are coming out. Because both of you have this, like, deep devotion and commitment to each other and to this connection. So, interesting. Let's get out some cards now on, let's see, the future. Okay, let me grab that. Okay, so we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We also have twin flame. Trust the magnetic pull of your twin flame. It will guide you towards them and the kiss. 
okay? For those of you who know this isn't your twin flame, just write that off. I think the reason this card came out is because we have magnetic here and we have magnetic right here. And even this card also talks about like this, this pull, this magnetism. Now it's interesting because we're talking about the future of this connection, right? Um, and I do think that the love, the deep, um, the deep loving energy, the unconditional love and devotion still remains in the future, but we have like this added spin of this like physical chemistry being added in here. So I don't know if maybe you and this person have never like had a physical connection yet. If you haven't, that certainly is coming in the future or there's going to be a deepening of that if it already exists, okay? So you might find that like the physical connection between the two of you um, gets turned up to 10 during the next chapter um, on top of the baseline of love that the two of you already have with each other. I feel like there's going to be more tenderness. There's going to be more 3D interaction with each other. There might be more intimate moments with one another. Or it's just even that you're you're just going to feel this chemistry like kicked up a notch for some reason. And I don't know why, but that's coming out through all three of these cards. The future of this connection involves like a lot of physical inter in interaction and a magnetic pull. Like you're only going to feel stronger for each other. Your feelings and um, your, your devotion is only going to increase as time goes on. It's not going to dwindle. It's not going to fade away. Let's get out a couple more cards though. I'm going to pull some tarot just like I did for the last couple spreads here to talk about the future. Talk to me about the future of this connection please. The next chapter. What's coming next? The nine of pentacles. Talk to me whoa, about the future. The ace of swords. The future of this connection please. That's interesting that we have the Empress coming out too. Yeah, there's something about the physical connection that's increasing soon. Or during this next chapter. Not necessarily soon, but in the next chapter between the two of you. I don't know. Like your feelings for this person, the attraction that you feel towards each other is just going to grow. And I don't know what's causing that, to be honest. Um, Like what's changing here? Because it seems like... Both of you already have this beautiful loving energy towards another, but there's something about like your physical connection that's going to increase tenfold for some reason. I don't know why that is. If you guys have suspicions, you can drop a comment down below. Could be that maybe right now this is a long distance connection or something and the two of you are actually going to be able to live together or travel with each other and see each other more in person. That's one potential I'm seeing here. Either that or um, like that part of your connection is just going to be like turned up to 10 for whatever reason because the empress is also a very magnetic and physically attractive type of energy um the nine of pentacles to me this could also be alluding to the fact that maybe the two of you are going to choose to live together um maybe like move in with one another or buy a home together and so you're like literally spending more time with one another so this is increasing um we also have the Ace of Swords, which is like truth and clarity. For some of you, you might be having like a Kundalini activation with this person. That's another potential that I'm seeing here. And maybe that's why like the physical chemistry increases because maybe um, the two of you are going to like start practicing Tantra together or something, or there's going to be something about um, like like your physical connection with one another, your intimate connection being more sacred, like the two of you might view this as like a sacred bond and that's just going to also increase the level of chemistry and magnetism you feel. Like you might literally like lock up, link up your chakras or something like that when the two of you are having intimate moments or something. Um, just because that seems to be like, I don't know, there's just some, it's very intense. Like it's getting to the point where I'm feeling heated. I'm feeling my energy bubbling over right now, even just reading this. Um, there's an intensity coming in the next chapter. I'm curious about this. If you guys want me to do an extended, I will to like get to the bottom of this a little bit more. So drop a comment down below if you want me to do an extended on that. Cause I, at this point I'm curious. I don't know why it's increasing tenfold, but it is. So Anyway, um, we're going to hop into some channeled messages from them now. We're going to see what they would have to say to you right now if they felt like they could be 100% open and honest. Although I do feel like you probably already have some, some good communication 
going with each other, okay? I feel like this is somebody you're definitely in contact with just based on what I'm seeing here. If you're not, you will be reconciling soon. Maybe that's also why the future involves a lot of like, yeah, that would make sense because we have that coming out. For some of you out there, you're not in contact with this person and you're going to be reconciling and seeing each other in person again after a period of not. Um, and that could be why like the physical chemistry is going to be so insane between the two of you. Um, but for those of you who are in a connection already with this person and you're talking to them, it, either way, it's just going to continue to to increase. But anyway. Okay, shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. We also have destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. Okay, so this is basically just saying that your person is still navigating life. Yeah, I just split the deck on accident, you guys, twice twice as I'm trying to pick it up and we have these two cards where it's split um this is a destined and fated connection a hundred percent there's no doubt about that this person seems like they were brought into your life for a reason and um you're helping each other to heal like I feel like this goes both ways I'm becoming a better person you made me realize my flaws I think that they're doing the same for you this is something that's very healing and transformative it's a beautiful type of connection that the two of you share they love you um, there might be some unfinished business or conversations that the two of you need to have to resolve and discuss some things with one another. Um, I don't think it's anything super heavy. I just feel like there's an importance in this connection with always clearing the air um, because both of you just have this deep reverence and respect for one another. I feel like you naturally just want to talk things out, uh, resolve things. You don't like to have any stuck energy between the two of you. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, I've thought about reaching out to you. Take that how it resonates. If this is a person from the past, they are thinking about reconnecting. Um, if it's somebody you're already like in a connection with, <clears throat> they just think about talking to you all the time. Okay. You are my everything. I put you on a pedestal. Yeah. get a couple more out though I made a big mistake that's interesting as this reading has progressed I think there's more information coming out that for some of you yes this is a past person that's returning into your life I feel like for most of you, it's probably um, somebody you're already like in contact with, but for some of you, it is a person coming back in because we also have right person, wrong time. I made a big mistake, thought about reaching out to you, all of these synchronicities. Um, so again, remember, it's also a general reading. So take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Leave the ones that do not. Okay. Who You guys, I need to take a breather after this reading. This was an intense one. <laughs> you and this person have a really intense connection to each other. All right, we're going to get out the Zodiac dice, tiles, and charms to help further confirm that this is your reading. Although, if it's been resonating so far, it definitely found you for a reason. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've been enjoying this reading so far. We would ha love to have you join the Awakened Soul community. All right, so I'm going to roll those Zodiac dice first. This could be their sun, moon, or rising sign, or yours. We have Taurus, Libra, strong Venus energy. We also have Libra coming out again, strong Venus energy. Taurus again, yeah, okay, there's something about your Venus connection that's important. I'm not, I'm more of an amateur astrologer, you guys, um, so just bear with me. I know a little bit, I don't know everything. Maybe look and see what's going on with like your Venus compatibility, because we had like four notes of Venus. I'm pretty sure Libra is Venus, right? I know Taurus is for sure. Yeah, Libra is as well. So that's interesting. Um, we also have Virgo coming out as well as Aries. And then we're going to get one more. Leo. Fabulous. Okay, let's do the tiles. This could spell out their name initials or yours. It could also just include like important words for the connection or something like that. Let's grab a couple more. Okay. Y, U, G, Q, we have T, U, 
I and an S. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything from that, but I don't know, this could possibly be your initials or theirs. We might also get a couple more letters in the charms, which two letters did just come out. We're gonna take those. Okay, we also have an A and an M. We have a pink bow. Yeah, there is this like beautiful pureness to this connection. And you guys were very lucky and fortunate to meet each other. Um, we have the four leaf clover here. Maybe you feel really lucky to have this person in your life or they feel very lucky to have met you, probably both of you guys. Um, and, and just the love that the two of you share is just really deep, intense, and pure from what I can see here. This could definitely be what is known as true love. All right. Let's get you out some messages now from the universe. I'm gonna pull a couple of cards here. It could relate to this connection or not. I always leave this open-ended. Okay, what was that? Inner truth, yeah. There's something about this connection that forces both of you to really go within and listen to your intuition. Okay. I felt called that that card is about this connection as well, but not only that, it's also for you. I think that you've been going through a major transformation and that's going to continue um, where you're learning to tune into your, your divinity, basically. Like you're learning to listen to your intuition more. You're learning to listen to your guidance, to your gut. Um, and it's, it's bringing more harmony into your life. Like your, your self-esteem is increasing because of it. Okay. You're glowing. You're literally glowing. We have you're about to shine. I feel like you're already like on your way there. There's something going on within you right now where you're going through a glow up, a level up, and it has something to do with listening to your intuition and your own psychic abilities and gifts. It's helping you with your self-esteem. I feel like your self-esteem is improving in the future. All right, the last thing we're gonna do here is get you out your butterfly affirmation of the day. If you've made it this far in the reading, comment a butterfly emoji down below to let me know. If you would like to affirm this, you can comment it down below as well or read it out loud with me. I like to take care of myself with love through rest, play, movement, and positive thinking. That could be part of it too, is maybe you're spending more time with self-care. Um, and you're literally having a glow up from the inside out because of that. So anyway, I'm going to leave this reading here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day or night. And until next time, bye for now.